Hello everyone, in this edition of the ICT basic series I'm running, I'm going to talk to you about the ICT uh, breaker block, the bearish and bullish breaker block. So the ICT breaker block is a very simple pattern um, to, to visually see and I'm going to start with the bearish version because it's visible here on the one minute NQ and then I'll mention the bullish version. So the ICT bearish block is simply a high, low, high. And the best ones really should be at sort of the top of a range, but it's an ABC pattern basically. So high, low, high. Okay, now the breaker block itself is from that first price leg. Okay, so it's from point A to point B, high to low. And how you can mark it, and how most people will mark it, will just be a negative breaker like that. You see? And that comes from back in this price action over here. So it's an ABC pattern, meaning point A to point B to point C. Now there's a couple different things that you can do with the ICT breaker. If price is coming back to the bearish breaker, the theory is that anywhere from point A to point B, Anywhere in that range, the price is going to have a difficult time punching through. Um, now, this has to be used in conjunction with draws on draws on liquidity, such as inefficiency and uh, and liquidity. So it really can't just be used by itself. But the pattern is pretty useful. Um, the other thing that you can do with it is take a standard deviation projection from point A to point B. So, for example, point A to point B. If we project that down, we see one standard deviation takes us back to 603 evens, two standard deviations to, to 582 evens. Um, so you can take standard deviations with these. Um, the ICT breaker block should be, uh, it needs to be, how do, how do you say, distinguished from the mitigation block. So it has to be a high, a low, and then a higher high. It cannot be a high, low, and then a lower high because that is an ICT mitigation block. So for example, here, if we have a high, a low, and a higher high, sorry, a lower high, that is an ICT mitigation block. And the difference is simply this. Price is more likely to move through, up and through a mitigation block than it is a breaker block. Why? Well, because with a breaker block, some measure of stops were taken during that A, B, C, the C leg, or the, the what Michael calls the manipulation leg. Uh, with the mitigation block, so from point A, B, and C, so high, low, and then lower high, the buy stops were not taken in that, in that C leg. So that's a, a mitigation block price is more likely to move through it. It can still stop price but it's less likely to stop price than the breaker block. The breaker block is more likely to stop price than the mitigation block. Okay, so we talked about how you can uh, identify it. It's a high, low, and higher high for the bearish breaker. You can draw a box as I've done here and then put negative breaker. You can take the point A to point B swing and take a standard deviation lower. Let's talk about the ICT bullish breaker. And guys, these breakers are, are really everywhere you can you can get as creative as you want with these they they are very common okay so the ICT bullish breaker is low high lower low okay and so again it's an ABC pattern meaning point A to point B to point C the breaker itself is from point A to point B so this example would be a bullish breaker. Other than just using the breaker when price comes back to it, so for example, other than using it right here on the open, which I wouldn't recommend trading the open, um, you can actually, if you identify the breaker while you're sitting right here, you can just go long as prices coming back through the breaker if you identify low high low and you know you have your other factors that are working in your favor you can just get long during this leg expansion outwards does that make sense you can just get long at the market so the breaker does not just have to be used on the way back down that's that's not true you can actually use it 
to get long as the price comes back through this through this leg. Again, we can take for our bullish breaker, we can take a standard deviation projection from point A to point B. And here we can see that price moved up one standard deviation and then two standard deviations. So the ICT bullish breaker is low, high, lower low. It can be used right on the way up. You do not have to wait for price to come back to it in order to get long. That's only, there's multiple ways that you can use it. I'm just teaching you how to identify it. Now, this needs to be, again, distinguished from the ICT mitigation block. The ICT mitigation block, and I'm trying to see if I can find a bullish mitigation block. Yeah, I'll just use this. It's, it's pretty simple to see. Do you see how this is point A, B, and C, but this is low, high, higher, low? That's a mitigation block. And you see how when price comes back through, it went straight through the mitigation block. You are much more likely to get through a mitigation block, so a low, high, and higher low. You're more likely to get through that than you are the breaker block. The breaker block is more likely to stop price in its tracks. It doesn't always stop price in its tracks, but it's more likely than the mitigation block. Okay, guys, so... Breakers are everywhere. They're very common, guys. These are not these are not rare patterns at all. Um, the bullish breaker is low, high, and low. You can either wait for price to come back to it to get long, or you can get long right in that right in that last leg through. The ICT bearish breaker is high, low, higher high, and you can either get short when price comes back to it, or you can get short right as you see it form. Okay. It should be distinguished from the mitigation, the mitigation block version of these things because it's a, a high, low, higher high, meaning stops were taken or stops were swept, uh, versus the mitigation block like high, low, lower high in which stops were not taken. Okay, so anyways, guys, in this version of ICT, uh, ICT uh, Basics, I taught you how to identify a bullish and a bearish breaker. I taught you how to distinguish them from a... Uh, from an ICT mitigation block. I taught you that you can use from point A to point B a standard deviation projection to take you lower or higher. And I taught you that you can get short or you can get long right as the pattern forms. You don't need to wait for price to come back to it, although you can use it that way as well. I also taught you that the breaker is more likely to stop price than the mitigation block. So, okay, guys, in this video we covered the ICT uh, uh, bullish and, and bearish breaker patterns. I hope you enjoyed this version, uh, this edition of ICT Basics. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and use my Top Step affiliate link. I hope you all have a good one, and bye-bye. Uh,